Welcome to the daily meditation. Take a moment in inner reflection of the days past, whereby you're purposefully giving the mind complete permission to accommodate all experiences correctly as it archives the experiences to one's advantage. Bring on board an inner smile and elongate your spine whereby you can purposefully encourage the vertebras to adjust perfectly in accordance to spinal alignment. One simply needs to imagine in the mind that the spine is correctly aligned and let the mind step forward and adjust as needed. Never assume as to how one should be positioned. Rather, allow nature to interact with you via the subtle realms. Now move the head for a few moments and notice as to whether one feels comfort or any discomfort, tension perhaps. Then settle down as one softens the eyelids. The physical eyes look slightly up. The jaw relaxed. The breath flows easily through the nasal passages. The shoulders unwind through those arms, through the hands and fingers. For the next few moments, improve lung activity in conscious exchange purposefully challenge the lungs to work far more efficiently than it had over the last few hours. Go with them. Move the breath through each tiny section of the lungs efficiently. And as you exhale each time, purposefully clear as much spent breath away from that body. Throughout this meditation practice, once again, reinforce within your mind that your whole life is influenced by your mind. Very important to understand this. Even though it may take quite a while or lifetimes to fully grasp that our entire lives is completely interacting with our mind's patterns in accepted timelines, be it conscious or subconscious or superconscious. Let's say you wanted to get rid of a weed, but you just mowed it with a mower. The root's still there. Would you expect the weeds to have disappeared? To be very precise in clearing the weeds, you must delicately till the soil and pull the entire weeds out with its seedlings. This is the aim of a meditation practice. Thus, it takes effort diligently preferably daily. Then one tends to the garden of the mind and makes sure that no more weeds finds the mind. Now go within each organ. Whether you're aware of where they reside or not, it doesn't matter. Imagine in your mind you're sending health, well-being, light and rejuvenation to every single organ. Go within. and extend it to each muscle, each nerve, each bone, each gland. For the body simply reflects the program. The body does not think and create its own. The moment the mind detaches permanently, that body disintegrates back to the earth. 
any change that you're seeking must come from your own mind. This is the perfect opportunity now to reclaim your own sanctity in balance and harmony as you are seeing it in your life in regards to where you're planning to move yourself forward. Remember, there's a difference between human emotions and divine interaction. The human mind is limited to the linear aspect of time. Thus, it cannot perceive anything but what it has in its archive in memory. So let's say you believe and have come to understand the concept of reincarnation. Do you remember anything about your past existence? If so, how is it affecting you at this present life? Very important. Either way, this is the life you are now interacting with. Accept all past for whatever reason you did whatever you did, but make this life the most refined life thus far. Meaning, be empowered. Do not allow the lower virtues of the human vulnerabilities to step up and dictate as to how you choose to live your life. This is meditation. Go within and observe as to whether you are ready and fully committed to embracing your entire mind or whether you would rather wait for a previous or future birth to come. For if you are willing to make this life the life, then you must be willing to confront all your fears, all stresses, all joys, all happiness, all emotions that the mind needs to address and correctly adjust. Very important. Do you truly respect whom you are? Very important question. You may respond quickly, yes you respect yourself, but do you truly respect who you are? Big difference. For if you respect completely who you are, your life will be completely different every day. You shall find true empowerment. As challenges will find one, be it summer, winter, autumn, spring. You are pure divine essence in a human incarnate physical body. Go within and notice how you're relating to that. What if you took your personality and gently moved it lovingly to the side and reinforced within the mind that this personality will not in any way hinder your path forward? Would you accept that? Let's say you were to observe your immune system and a bacteria finds you that can cause you discomfort. If so, would you expect your immune system to let that bacteria pass as you clear your lungs completely? You would expect your immune system to work and diligently clear the toxins, clear the toxins as you clear it from the lungs. Bring awareness within. And notice how the body purposely begins to adjust. Purposely. To adjust all the layers. Then bring your attention within and allow yourself to become far more interactive with the way you're choosing to enhance your life from this moment forward. Physically, Emotionally, mentally,
Now, what does it mean to feel inner peace with an inner smile? What does that mean? Remember, it's easy to say you wish to succeed in life on a spiritual level. Just like it's easy for an individual just starting out in a career to say they would like to be successful financially in a relationship and so on. But let's come back in two, three decades down the track and observe as to whether they achieve their goals or not. And those that achieve their goals, if you were to review their life, you would notice that they live their life differently to the others. So they had to have followed a specific formula of diligence and determination in proactive responses. Success does not find one simply by one reflecting on success and not acting proactively. And so too is elimination of toxins from the body and illumination of the mind. You must clear whatever karma that the soul, for whatever reason, is still tinkering with if you're choosing to be free of karma. That is why it's imperative to make peace with yourself. Not temporarily. To face everything that the mind has felt appropriate for you to face to clear, then you clear it. As you're truly omnipotent and immortal. Though it's a concept me contemplate very few understand. Notice how you lived your life over the last 24 hours. This will give you a good overview of why you are where you are. By simply observing over the last 24 hours how you interacted with yourself. How life interacted with you. Let's say you could go back in time and bring about changes in the past that will limit the discomfort you experience today, would you act upon it in the past? Let's say you would have conversation with yourself as a child. Would that child listen to you? Now let's say your future steps forward now and gives you directive. Would you follow your directive of the future? The future is speaking to you now. All you need to do is give yourself permission to still the mind and listen to your intuition. It is sharp. It is precise. Let's put it to the test. Go within. For the next few moments, in stillness and silence, go within and listen to your inner voice without interrupting or allowing the human ego to participate. You are simply choosing for the next few moments to listen by your subtle senses. The moment your mind is distracted, bring it back internally. Train your mind to follow your directive with clarity.
Note how your mind follows your directive. Change can only find you if your mind has approved of the change. Let's be very clear with this. Nothing shall find you if your mind has not adjusted its frequency towards it. What seems impossible only seems impossible if you're looking at it from a human perspective. Your whole life would seem impossible for someone who did not understand the art of conception, gestation, birth, and how each of the organs developed from the neural fold, how your mind became animated. Once you understand how this body comes to form and how the mind influenced the outcome, then you are far more in tune with the reasons as to why. Step out of your human confines. Go within and sense your intuition interacting with you now. Change only occurs if you've let go as to why the misalignment is still occurring. Be very clear of that. Change only occurs if you understood as to why the misalignments still occurring. At this precise moment, you have full veto over the outcome of your entire destiny. At this precise moment. But the question is, are you willing to allow that to step forward? The ego must gently be eased to the side. The human construct must be comfortably placed to the side. The whole human timeline must gently be placed to the side. Then when you've connected to your pure divine self, then you can bring all the aspects back on board and they shall be dealt with naturally in accordance to the synchronicity of harmonic resonance and perfect alignment within. Note a conductor. The moment the conductor steps up towards the orchestra, every musician in the orchestra begins to adjust and follows the conductor. You are the conductor of your life. Notice as to how you are conducting your life and make the changes that you are seeking by firstly recognizing that the changes will only occur with your approval. There is a vast difference between the approval of the ego and the approval of the self. Big difference. Are you aware of the difference at this present moment? Go within. Are you aware of the difference between the aspect of you that's purely divine in nature and the ego? Which dominates your life? Which influences your choice and decisions?
Let's say the next time you choose to drift into slumber, your mind within the dream state refines the programming within your brain to your advantage, whereby when you awake next time, you find that you awake with a clear objective and act accordingly. Let's say a person is an amateur tennis player. But one night they fall asleep and during that sleep they connect to the aspect of the mind that is the best tennis player that ever existed. And the brain is adjusted to that and that person awakens. How would you assume that person will play? Would they play as they had prior to waking up? Or would they play as the brain has been refined? This is your life. You are creating your own destiny by the way you think. That is why it's very important to observe every single thought and how you interact with that thought. Though simple in dialogue, it may take lifetimes to understand in action. You can drift into slumber the next 24 hours and rewire your entire mind and awaken fully enlightened. But will that occur? It is possible. If there is any misalignment between you and someone else, you can at this very moment make peace with yourself and never, ever, ever have a negative influence thought upon that other individual ever again. You can clear your stresses, your hates, your dislikes, your disdain, your fears, everything you can clear this now. Because you have choice. When you see a person walking on a tightrope as a profession, how do they walk? But let's just say you have another person that's never walked on a tightrope do the same. Would they do the same? They have not practiced in training. Your life at the moment is a replication of past practices. Remember that. If you want to change anything, you must change the training. Though simple, it takes effort. Whatever you're seeking takes effort and training. And the training must be diligent 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Because your mind is constantly observing your thoughts. And once you can walk diligently on the tightrope, if that's what you're seeking, then you can take some sabbatical. If you wish to be a conductor for an orchestra, it takes training. And then once you've mastered the art of being a conductor, you can take time out. This goes for everything in life. First, you must become proficient and efficient in the art. Then you can relax and choose to focus on something to diversify your lateral interest. Be determined. Be inspired. Be focused. Do not be concerned about how others may choose to interact in their belief. Let's say a young child is seeking to ride a bike. Would you ask him to focus on other children that can't ride a bike? Would you ask them to focus on children that had had injuries riding a bike? Or would you get them to focus on their own riding? Focus on your own journey. Then be very efficient in your life. Go within and observe as to how your mind responds to your directive now.
Your future is simply responding to your present impressions. As your future is vast in its variables, it is up to you as to which variables that you choose to interact with at this present moment and act upon it accordingly and trust like a GPS once you set in motion you've acted accordingly and follow the route you shall reach your destination be inspired Leave the past where it belongs, but yet clear any limitations that are still lingering from your past interactions. But if the past interactions to some degree was to your advantage, take the seed and replicate it now. Be empowered. Change only finds you once you've allowed yourself to move with the change. Find divine being within you and let that divine being be your guide. Follow the guidance with precision. For that to be a reality, you must be far more in tune with your subtle impressions. Over the next 24 hours, observe as to how you are interacting with your mind in relation to your life's experiences via the personality. By observing, you will note as to whether you have chosen to make this birth the birth of illumination or this birth of, as a birth of experimentation. Big difference. With a loving thought, as always, in inspired momentum, bring your awareness back to your physical body because this body allows you the means of experiencing this timeline due to your purposeful intentions. Deepen your breath. Awaken those fingers and palms because they're your hands. That body is yours. It will follow your directive. Remember that. Adjust the fingers and place the palm lovingly upon the heart. As always, note that your life is being designed by your mind. Take the opportunity to refine the drawings, then allow the builders to build it with true efficiency in craftsmanship and artistry. Divine. And until we interact again, may the universal light of life continue to fan the flame of pure wisdom, whereby you shall fully awaken and clear the debris, whereby you shall be fully illuminated in this birth, as you're truly worthy. Be love, be light, be at peace.